Hi everybody, got a couple of bits of wood to show you today and wanted to just talk to you about humidity. This is a humidity test of four woods and it's got two pins on it and what it basically does is it measures the resistance between these two points and plots that against what it understands to be the humidity of the wood because obviously moisture uh, will conduct electricity and the wood doesn't in itself. And as a reference, and I'm doing this today because I've just leveled my workbench uh, again. Uh, so I thought I'd just check the workbench and kind of use it, although it's a softwood, as a bit of a guide for what the workshop normally is and what I've always known it to be. And we go across the grain like this. Hang on a second, let's put that in again. <laughs> yeah, okay. And we're showing 12% humidity. Now, this piece of maple has been out here for about a week, maybe 10 days, while I've been waiting for this one to, this piece of ebony to come in. This is only coming today. And I'm just gonna put this in here again, and set that on. And already, this is 12% humidity. This was kiln dried very recently, and then sent to me from Luthia Supplies. Now, the other piece I've got here is a piece of ebony. And again, this has only come today, so it's going to be not uh, suited or not adapted to this environment, but direct from kiln drying where it was stored by Luthia Supplies. And what have I got here? Oh, let me just get this in properly, it's quite hard. That's showing about 7%. So you can see that the workshop environment here is more humid than where this piece of wood was stored uh, by my supplier. Now, humidity presents problems for guitar makers and for all woodworkers, and it also presents some issues for guitar owners. So for example, a guitar that's made in the workshop here and the wood stored in this kind of environment. In the UK, we generally tend to see uh, a humidity of between about 65 and 90% most of the year round. That's the average, uh, according to the Met Office. Um, if you were to say, take a guitar that was made here and put it in a very dry environment, say somewhere in the central uh, belt states of the United States of America, where the humidity in the winter can be incredibly low, you would see fret sprout, possible warping of the fingerboard, all sorts of problems, maybe even finish cracking. But that also applies in the UK. With modern housing and some of the modern heating methods such as underfloor heating with or dry air heating, there are issues with guitars drying out and you can cause warping and cracking. And I have had fingerboards that have uh, in the past shed their binding, for example, where the fret ends have sprouted and pushed the binding off the ends of the fret ends. And it is a massive issue if you do have one of those modern homes. So the lesson from today is really that you can damage your guitar by having it too dry and that the equilibrium humidity in wood in the UK is probably between 12 and 13 percent. And if you've got a guitar that's manufactured in the UK, the optimum is to try and keep it at something like that humidity, and it's going to wear and last better and longer, and you're gonna have fewer problems with it. Anyway, see you next time.